talking too often. Anyway, we're going to play some uh, Wakey Wakey Alan Bakey. So let's uh, get uh, started. keep playing this? Uh, I don't know if I am. I don't really know. I'm pretty uh, disappointed with it. People are like, oh, it's so great. It's so great. It doesn't need guns. Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the it's manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were busy. Well, I'll show you her trail. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the god-fearing type Indians, myself. Indians, of hold course. Those. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zink. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane... Coffee! Island. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. That boat fell out of the sky. Anyway, let's look at this here trailer park before we go in. What is that noise? Sounds like... Oh! Oh, it's a vacuum cleaner. <gasps> Can you hear a dog? Your day of being home over at work just got a lot better. You mean a lot worse. Probably worse. Probably worse. Tornado! Alan Wake is now a tornado. Oh, okay, so I was thinking about on, the different I'll brands that have been shown. Okay, we had Lincoln. Uh, I think we had Ford. Yeah, Ford. Or at least a car that looked like a Ford. No, no, Ford. Here's one right here. Uh, and then we had Verizon for the phone. We have Energizer for the batteries. And then it looked like they tried to get Jeep for uh, the fatty's car, but they probably couldn't get it or something, so they just took a car that looks like it. Hey, this woman is a dog, too. At least there's, like, step animation. But I still, there's, like, ghosting around his head when you turn around. Look at that. Skin is just ripping away. Just follow me. Oh. Holy shit, it's the, it's the, it's the hat dogs that the guy was talking about. Oh, and I realized, okay, so remember there's a guy, like, in the woods that we had a fight, and his, I said his voice sounded familiar? I found out, I, I figured out who it was. Uh, I did a double check, but I'm pretty, it's that crazy guy from, um, Left 4 Dead 1, the guy in the church that has been bitten. Yeah, same voice. Gosh, some things look really good, but then other things are just, like, not good looking at all. Including Alan. Alan's like, <laughs> can we move this box? Uh, no, it's too heavy. Oh, give me a break, mister. Can we just get a move on? You know what? Maybe I want a hot dog. Let's look. 
Hot Dog, 150, Famous Dog, 229, Big Dog, Monster Dog, Belly Burst, oh yeah, he talked about it. Trailer Trash Dog, Taco Dog, Corn Dog, Chili Dog, Granny Claws, Clam Chowder, Sparkling River Special, it's Guardian Chicken Parmesan, Cauldron Lake Deep Fried Plate, Zany Chicken Fried Steak, Salad, Salad Chicken, oh, Rabbit Food, oh jeez. Uh, small side salad, extra dressing, extra fictions, just ask for M. How colloquial we all roll. Coffee? No. I'm here, fella. Why did they name the other guy Stumpy? This should be Stumpy. Oh, he's Captain walking. Better, a local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Job or stuff like that. Anyway, Al. She died last to week. The part. All of the articles story? about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless. Anymore. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. You'll have to excuse me tonight. I have fucking ducktails in my head. Anytime I hear that freaking theme song, it's in my head for at least a week. It drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. God damn it. So you might be hearing me go, Shannon, my, she lives in the dumpster? No, she doesn't. What are we doing right here? Just to show that there's crows here because this spooky old lady. But why, why couldn't the crows have been like right there? That would have been, that would have been nice. More Mr. Stumps. Ugh. Sandboxes are good in theory, but they never quite work out. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Fuck her so hard. I don't know why, but I just I really like knocking chairs down. This one's weighted. Can't do it. That table is weighted. I didn't see any more coffee. I can't believe there's only been one coffee here. Now, let's see. I think this is supposed to be a single wide, but it looks a little wide to be a single It's like a single wide that's been added onto. You know, it's not luxury unless you have a double wide. American Nightmare was like the DLC, right? This is a door? Oh wait, this is a sliding glass door and those are the key blinds. That was a knock? Alright. Hope we don't get our butts spooked on. Welcome to... to... Oh dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. He... and he doesn't... Suspect a thing. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. She's supposed I know to be what a... you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, Zest. Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry. What? What? Marijuana coffee. Oh, I know who's getting raped, not her. Damn. Gosh. She is coming good. for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. 
I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. All this you just for a shitty book. On. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. See, I don't like the use of, uh, you know, like, camera footage in, in video That's games, bird? usually, okay. so much. That that looks okay, because it's, like, from far away, and it's really fuzzy, but earlier in the game, it looked really bad. And Rose has, like, holy shit, that's me, calves of Hillary Clinton. See, that just looks weird, don't you think, using real pictures? That's, that's strange. Fetch bird disconnected. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Coffee! Okay, look at her coffee pot, then remember the coffee pot from the cutscene? It was the diner coffee pot. And then that's another coffee pot. Welcome to the hotel. Cooking with diner. corn. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me, and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. Yeah, he's pretty fat. You're right. Deserve more money. So handsome. Why is he quoting Mr. Wake right here? God damn it. I don't want her to be night already. He's gonna be real My spooky. gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. But we're gonna waste time and read this. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet and life had tried so hard to make her better. It wasn't any of this business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. So he thinks she fucked them. Huh. The sheriff, I mean. Maybe we can drive the boat around and ride out of here. Not a rock. All the way. Oh, it is. I guess we gotta go back the way we came. Uh, ducktails. Oh, shit. Told ya. 
I, I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I am the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep here, you know? Uh, I just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. So this is the drunker that was in jail. Well, I heard something like that, Walt. Yeah. Well, you know, he's, uh, you know, Daddy's my best friend, and, uh, he let me out of bail today. And now, I'm all here at the window, you know, waiting. Man. And there's something in the air tonight, man. Uh, I was just outside looking up at the sky above our That's broadcast cool. tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I, I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, uh, well, uh, maybe... No, that, thanks, Pat. Uh, oh, I feel scared now. Channel. Good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> Gamer Listen moves again. to Luda 2E point and SHO of Tiny Party, please. That helped me be a little more scared, to tell the truth, because I, I was just thinking, yeah, I do know nights like that, where you just, you just, you, get, you feel so tense, you know, you just, you feel so tense, you go crazy at home, man, it's like 3 a.m. and like, we're awake, and it's just like, man, fucking tense, I'm gonna borrow a wheelbarrow, hopefully, wheelbarrow my oh, fat friend out of here. <laughs> I God did not knows do what that. You've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Hemingway. They wouldn't shoot with that guy. Right there. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. I'd rather be fighting against the police and the spooky, scary shadow people. Let me just run in this dry creek bread. Gamer just connected. Oh, hello! Oh shit. Ah. Uh, so I get that they're trying to make it like a stereotypical like. Shoot. Police story horror game, but oh, they're just uh. Whoop, shit. Well, this is gonna suck with my stamina bar. Damn. No, not flares. Shit, they're shooting at me. I'm out of stamina. Oh fuck. Oh, come on. Oh, who's up there? Oh shit. Come on, Alan. Come on, Alan. You're running for your life, you're getting shot at! You barely run any. You haven't even run half a mile. <laughs> 